Hey, 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 it's your girl, Abby, a.k.a. New mm -hmm. Age Coach. Oh, excuse you? I was in the middle of my intro and you're yawning. Like, like I was saying, it is your girl, Abby. I forgot what I was saying. New Age Coach, y'all know what I'm talking about. It's Bed with Bay. It's too early for me. In this Bed with Bay, we are going to introduce y'all to this new saying that came up in our morning conversation. Mm. Like, it's contagious. I can't stop yawning. Hold on. <laughs> Does anyone actually know why yawning is so contagious? Like, I bet all of you probably just yawn too, and we're gonna just keep this going because I feel one. <laughs> Every time you say I yawn, you yawn, but let's shake it out. Everyone, focus. Focus. We're here. Okay. I realize you probably can't actually focus because you're probably noticed that he is not wearing a shirt again. <laughs> we keep flip flopping, but we did know we did notice our views went down just a little bit. So I am not above being superficial and doing whatever it takes to get views. So you can thank me in a minute. Show your muscle, babe. Show your muscle. <laughs> There it is right there. You That's see that? That's an instant three, three <laughs> thumbs up. Everyone, if you like that, you want more, give us a thumbs up. But into the video we go. I feel very used. <laughs> On to the point of this video, uh, we were talking and having our normal morning chats and also, I know I'm wearing makeup, but don't you worry, this is very authentic, you know why, I'm gonna be quite honest, it's last night's makeup, so I hope you don't judge. Why do you always tell on yourself? <laughs> because it's literally not even on my eyes anymore, it's like beyond my eyes, so um, there's that. But today's video, we're gonna be talking about, what are we talking about? Uh, in Shona, we say, Chara chimwe achitswanyi inda. Chara chimwe achitswanyi inda. Why are you butchering my language? I thought I was actually pretty impressive. No. Chara swinye? No. <laughs> Chara chimwe. Ch oh, Chara chimwe. Whatever. The, the idea is... Ch no, say Chara chimwe. Chara chimwe. Look at this angle, firstly. Look at this angle. <laughs> <laughs> Get off of me. <laughs> There's really no good angle here, and I don't know what's happening this morning. We're feeling super silly. Um, so we're back into the video for real. Third take, action! Uh, what is the saying, and what are we talking about? Chimwe achitswanyinda. Oh, <laughs> there you go. I look better that way. Yep, you know yep. which way you look the best? Which way? Your good side. <laughs> for real now, fourth take, last and final cut. If you're still here, bless your heart. We're sorry, but what does the saying actually mean? Well, it means one finger cannot squash uh, a tick. The concept is based on uh, teamwork. You know, for you to be able to squash a, a tick or whatever, you are going to need your other fingers to come in and help to squash that. So the idea is oh is driven from teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. If we all come together and we work together to achieve whatever we want to achieve, uh, if we set a goal and we do it as a team, it's always easier to get to the next level. Basically, our strength is in our numbers. Uh, the, the the group philosophy that you know it's easier for us to to get things done when we have more hands working together to get things done. Yeah, so like visually, you're literally saying you can't like go like this to squash a tick. You, yes. You need your two fingers like this. And again, I'm not advocating for killing anything. Oh, I'm just saying go. some of your sayings, we need to like <laughs> rework them. That is not what this is about, but I get it. I get it. So from a spiritual side, what do you, what do you get? I would say from a spiritual perspective, it is running into the whole concept of, I would say, collective consciousness, ultimately, right? So every person, we are each our own individual. She's kind of smart. Kinda smart. <laughs> I'm not kind of. I am. Well, like, I don't know duh, about that. You know? I don't know, I can, but kind of works. It's like not fair to everyone. I'm, like, I'm cute. I'm smart. I'm funny. It's like, geez, like what else is there left? <laughs> humble. Clearly humble. Yeah, what a humble brag, huh? <laughs> So before you interrupted me, I was oh, trying to geez. say, ultimately, we're all on our unique individual path in this world and spirituality. We have our own gifts and talents to bring forth. So we do have a part to play as like one person or that one finger in the equation of, of doing this to the tick. But 
The only other way I can give another analogy outside of your example is like, think about it like this. We're all in this grand symphony of life, right? And I might be playing a guitar and the symphony is not gonna sound the way it needs to sound or correct or be as beautiful if I'm not playing as my solo, my guitar part, the way it needs to be played as it is for me. That's my own unique skill and talent to play the guitar. Then, you know, let's say he plays the flute, right? There's a specific role that he as the flute needs to do to contribute to the symphony to make it sound beautiful and everything that it is. If I'm not doing my part as the guitar, he's not doing his part as the flute. There is something not as magical in this symphony, in this orchestra that is so much larger than the individual parts, me and him. So that's the same concept around spirituality. We have to do our own paths where I could be a hairdresser or a spiritual healer. Nonetheless, I'm walking my path and contributing to the world in the way that I that makes me happy, where I'm following my passion, I'm using my skills and individual talent, and I'm growing and being the best version of me that I can be in this earth by raising my own consciousness and joy and passion and what I'm here to do. That's inherently raising the collective consciousness and growing the collective consciousness through me. So my actions as a singular person, it can only take me so far, but it is ultimately growing the collective based on that too. Like, does that make sense what I'm trying to say? No, I've introduced eight more metaphors. I mean, it, it does, but uh, I think the, the, the basic concept will remain that in this musical journey, in mm -hmm. this story that we're telling, we are all painting something it's it's oh gosh one. now we just introduced paint analogy oh too. yeah we're we've going, got a tick we're we've got a symphony it. i'm you a guitar see, player you see, you we've see got... we just happen to be a little bit smart you know what i mean our brains are going all over the place but we uh, all so are tired. we are all bringing something to the table the collective you know to make that dream come true we all have to put our hands in it i am who i am because we are ubuntu we have another African saying eight, that says eight. that. Now we have that went eight. <laughs> okay. Let's keep on we going, baby. All off. day, every day. Let's it's, go. It's, it's spiritual somehow. You get what we're saying. Yeah, no. We've got to go. we got to right. go. God bless. We out. <laughs> He's still yawning. He's still yawning. <laughs> He's doing that.